feels like it's been a little while since I reviewed a film in the daylight. I think it's about half five. I've just come out of Scream 6. Um, I really liked it. I really liked it. So I was messaging this bloke on Bumble, I think. I mean, speaking of Scream, Ghostface got ghosted again the other day by somebody who also ghosted me in 2021. So yeah, that's on me for being stupid enough to uh, give my second chance. Anyway, I digress. Um, yeah, so I was messaging somebody on Bumble and I said, he said, what are you doing at the weekend? I said, oh, I might try and go to the cinema on Sunday. What are you going to see? I said, Scream 6. He went, is it worth the money? I mean, how I spend my money is entirely my business. But I said, what do you mean? Well, is it worth the money to go and see it? So I explained to have a limitless pass. I pay £14.99 a month. Now, due to becoming a dog mum in December, a little bit trickier to go because when left alone, my little pickle will howl ahead off. However, Eva's at home today, so I was able to nip off in the middle of the afternoon and go to the cinema and watch Scream 6. And then you get to come out in the daylight, so it's good, so it's not too scary. Although people still get stabbed in the daylight, you know, it's not just at night. Um, so, <laughs> so we had Scream 5 last year, the year before. Don't know why my voice has gone like that. I don't know when it was. Was it last summer? Year before that. I don't know. It doesn't matter. There was a fifth Scream film. It was jolly good. We focused on the Carpenter sisters. A lovely little nod to John there, I believe. Um, so in the previous instalment, we met Tara, Tara. Americans can't say Tara. Um, played by Jenna Ortega and her sister, Sam, Samantha Carpenter, played by Melissa Barrera. And in the last one, we saw um, Sam come back to Woodsboro, where obviously the original films were set, um, to protect her sister. And it turned out that Sam was actually the daughter of... Dun, dun, dun! I mean, this is spoilers for the fifth one, but why are you watching a review of Scream 6 if you haven't seen the fifth one? It's just stupid. Um, so Sam turned out to be the daughter of Billy Loomis. Ooh. Um, if you don't know your Scream franchises, again, while you're watching this, um, Billy Loomis was Skeet Ulrich's character. Um, Nev Campbell slash Sydney's slash is a good, yeah, slash Sydney's boyfriend in the original film and was the original killer. Him and Matthew Lillard's character, Stu Marker. Okay, good. So then it turned out that there was a deranged fan of the original films i mean not the scream films because the scream films aren't real in the world of the films the stab films exist and they are based on the woodsboro murders so you're keeping up good so um in scream five we saw richie played by um jack quaid uh, as sam's boyfriend richie who it turned out was actually um, an obsessive fan of Billy's and of the Woodsboro murders and him and his deranged little girlfriend on the side um, did all the murderings. And then Sam saved the day, bish bash bosh, end of story. Or was it? Obviously not because now we've got a sixth one. So we're now a year on from the last round of Woodsboro murders we are now in New York City because uh, Tara has gone off to college or university um, in NYC and of course sister Sam has followed to make sure that she's okay they're living in a little apartment with a girl called Quinn um, and also living in New York you've got the twins from Scream 5 Mindy and Chad who are of course the niece and nephew of Randy's character. Randy can't remember his surname it's gonna bug me played by Jamie Kennedy um, who was the horror expert in the first two films who has one of the I mean a really really good death in Scream 2 and one that still makes me sad because he was one of my favourite characters um, so yeah Randy had a sister 
his sister had twins and they are Mindy and Chad. And in the previous film, it was um, Mindy was the horror expert, the franchise expert. So again, like with the last one, there's some really meta stuff in there because you've got Mindy who, who knows her horror films, knows the tropes, knows the Stab franchise really well. So she's there and it happens again in this film. There's a great scene where she's basically debriefing what's going on who's going to survive, who the potential suspects are. Everybody's a suspect. Nobody's safe. Um, and I, I just, I've got so much time for it. It's just really entertaining um, and really stabby and really gory. Like, they're still, still going for that, gunning for that 18 certificate. No interest in bringing it down to a 15. And I've said this before. You can get away with loads in a 15, but the makers of any sort of screen film are like, no, we're 18 certificate films. We're going to do a lot of stabbing and you're going to see people's guts fall out and people chopped up. And that's just what we've come to expect. And I am here for it. There's some good, some good jumpy moments. I didn't scream, um, which sometimes I do with a jumpy jumpy in the cinema, but I didn't. Um, I did... I know I pulled stupid like reaction faces and I know I was like at times um and there was there was a few in there for the middle of a Sunday afternoon um but thankfully I didn't disgrace myself by um yeah screaming my head off which I have been known to do before but it's just they're really entertaining I like the actors who play the twins although unfortunately I don't know their names at the top of my head um, Jenna Ortega since Scream 5 has been on quite the traje trajectory so most people know her now from playing um, Wednesday Adams in the Netflix series Wednesday which she was brilliant in I mentioned when I reviewed Scream 5 that Melissa Barrera was in In the Heights which I absolutely love they make really believable sisters or half sisters I guess because obviously they've got the same mother but a different dad because you know Sam's dad is Billy Loomis and Taurus isn't um but they make really believable sisters although the height difference really made me laugh either Melissa Barrera is really tall or Jenna Ortega is tiny or both but there's quite a lot of scenes where they're side by side and Jenna Ortega just looks like a little little pocket sized person um yeah new characters introduced plot twists a character got to return from Scream 4 who, I'll be honest, I didn't remember being in Scream 4, but then they kind of elaborate um, on how she fit into the story from previously. Because I've only... The first couple, like Scream and Scream 2, I've seen loads of times. Scream 3, I've seen, I think, twice, because it's not very good. Um, 4 and 5, I've seen once each. So, yeah, remembering, like, the through lines of the plot, I'm a bit like, um... But then at the same time, they are good at kind of getting you up to speed without being too mansplainy um but it was just really good fun i don't know if the franchise is finished it's probably not um there are some as an appearance by a legacy character or two um or maybe more i'm not saying um there's some really good deaths some really good chases and some tense moments i don't think anything will ever make me as uncomfortable as the bit in scream 2 where sid and her roommate whose name i can't remember have to climb out of the police car over the unconscious ghost face in the front like i saw that in the cinema with my sister and we were a nervous wreck so there's a there's a moment there's a couple of moments like that that are like really tense um, I think there's a bit in the trailer where um, Tara and Sam are in a like convenience store with a ghost face and it's a really confined space. Um, there's another bit that involves climbing out of a window across a ladder to another apartment. That was quite like hairy as well. But yeah, the actors and the roles are good. Um, I like the way they keep sort of referencing the original films and the legacy and the franchise and the history and all the rules of horror films i just find them really entertaining so yeah it's a big thumbs up for me for scream six will there be a seven who knows if there is i'll come and see it that's it katie out